I'm here with Chris Jansen, who is now the newest member of the Q Generation. Chris, thanks so much for taking time to stop by and see us. Oh, my pleasure to be here today, and uh, just always happy to be in East Tennessee. It's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Thank you. Chris has some great news for us. He has signed with Bigger Picture, which means he has a major record label now, and you're working with a guy named Keith Stegall. Now, our audience may not be familiar with him, but if you know Alan Jackson and Zach Brown Band, then you know his work, and this is the guy you're working with. Tell us about that. Yeah, uh, you know, I... Man, I, I have to thank Keith so much um, for, you know, finding his discovery market and then putting it on me. Um, man, it's just an honor. I mean, you know, generationally, he's just awesome with acts. Uh, he's such a good record man. He has a great, he's just a great whole aura about him uh, as far as making music and letting me make the kind of music I want to make. And it shows through the artists he's worked with in the past. He's also a songwriter. He was an artist himself, a music executive. He's, he's, he's done everything in all facets of the music industry. And um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better fit uh, as far as a record producer is concerned. He's just a, he's a great friend, great man, and I'm really happy with the music we've produced. I want to talk about his new news music in just a second, but he's also a songwriter, Chris is, and you were co-writer on a song that is almost top ten right now, and we've been playing the song a lot, and it's recorded by an, a guy named Tim McGraw, so tell us about the song that you've co-written. Absolutely, Truck Yeah, Tim McGraw. Um, I thought it was a silly song when, when, I, when we all sat down and wrote it, and I uh, wrote it with Danny Meyer from the Low Cash Cowboys, of course, and man, it, what a blessing it is to have someone cut your song. Um, you know, it, it could have been anybody, and I would have just been Tickle Pink. And uh, but you know the fact that it was Tim and his, and his first cut uh, uh, single for the Big Machine record label was was just a, you know the biggest honor and the highest debuting single ever in his career. And uh, I thank you so much and uh, Q93 for playing it. I mean it's just thanks to Country Radio it's making it happen and uh, it's just it's you know it's just another thing to chalk up for thankfulness uh, as far as my career is concerned. Because he's got to hit record, that means he's going to get a nice check <laughs> for doing that too, so congratulations yeah. on that. Hey, that, that never I mean, you know, that, that's never a bad thing. Let's talk about your music. You have some brand new songs coming out on Bigger Picture, and so tell us about your single and when will it be released and just uh, why you chose this song. Well, I wrote and co-wrote the whole album, uh, which I'm very proud to say, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a great collection of songs. It's, it's you know, I've been in Nashville uh, working on in the music industry for eight years. This is my eighth year. And, um, man, I, I, I couldn't be more proud of these songs. I, they're, they're just a true life uh, bio uh, of, my, of my life, you know, built from the start and the ground up. Better I Don't is the first single. Uh, better I Don't is exactly what you think it is, guys. It's, it's uh, hey, should I go drinking tonight? Probably better I don't. Should I drive my Harley too fast? Uh, probably better I don't. Should I hit on that girl? Probably better I don't. Um, and the song is just so true. It's a you know the, the from start to finish the whole album is a true story, and uh, I, I believe that the listeners will be able to relate to it because where I come from is a very normal place, man. I mean you know I, every day I put my boots on the same way and I write songs. Uh, you know I said on my website I write songs for the people who uh, that I'm one of and. And so I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna translate nicely, and, I, and I'm really proud of it. So I believe it, and I uh, hope the listeners do too. We're going to be playing it here on Q93, so be listening for it. Now, tell us how our audience can find out more about you, your website, downloading your songs, all that. Absolutely. Uh, the new songs will be. I'm, I'm thinking the five song EP will be on iTunes very shortly, as far as the and, and, and of course the record in the within the next year. Uh, and as well in stores, but ChrisJansen.com. That's C H R I S J A N S O N, and uh, that'll lead you to Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. You know all the social media outlets. And uh, the new website has just launched, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of it. I think it looks great, and um, you know things are, are really are really looking onward and upward. So it's it's just going to be a, a great, exciting year. Chris Jansen, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, Mike, it's my pleasure to be here, and uh, just it's, I love being in East Tennessee and uh, Knoxville. You stay classy. To roam. But one Tuesday night in an un